Right now, you can see signs of life across the tri-state. A remarkable change from this time a year ago when we were just beginning the battle against COVID-19. Look at Times Square on this afternoon, bustling with crowds there. And families are packing Coney Island, too. It is back open for, the, for business for the first time in a year and a half. Businesses that struggled to survive the pandemic are hoping for crowds, even limited ones, on this opening weekend. Let's head over to News 4's Adam Harding at Coney Island. Adam, what a gorgeous day to play, and there's a sense of hope in the air. Gilma, we were talking on our way here to Coney Island. How great is it that for work we get to come and play here in Coney Island? So many people out packing the boardwalk behind us. Of course, what everybody wants to know is what do the crowds look like and what does it look like right now on the rides? Well, take a look for yourself, Gilma, and things are certainly moving. And this is a wonderful sign for this community. This landmark has been closed for more than a year. Oh, what a day to be thrown upside down. The screens are filling the air as Coney Island returns for its first full weekend in over a year. This is really my childhood. Like, I've been here, like, every single year of spring and summer. It's still your childhood. <laughs> yes. I love this place. And eight-year-old Matthew Phillips is just having the best time ever. How much do you love Coney Island? Very much. It's the best, right? I, I was coming here since I was like three years old. It's pretty exciting. We finally got out of the house and got to see people and, you know, take them out of the house for a little bit for some fun. Yeah. After the ribbon cutting ceremony Friday, it's go time with some changes, of course, from hand sanitizer stations to social distancing signs, even a new electronic pass for tickets. It's amazing, but it's kind of scary, too. <laughs> Why do you think scary? You know, it's very crowded. Come on down. The park we all know and love is back up and running. Welcome to it really is music to the ears of guests out enjoying this iconic landmark, a sign, they hope, of a return to normal. And I've lived in Brooklyn for 29 years, so... It's a staple. It's a staple, yeah. You come out of here and then you buy some hot dogs and drip some ice cream on the boardwalk and, you know, it's great. Gilma, brighter days ahead. That's what everybody is hoping for. A lot of people wearing masks. We're told that you can scream, which is encouraging. We heard plenty of those screams on the rides. Hard to gauge right now just how busy it really is here on the boardwalk. It's a little chilly, and people are trying to keep social distancing. But certainly, it is a welcome sight that the park is back open. We're live on Coney Island. I'm Adam Harding, News 4, New York.